everyone, I am Happy Lobo and Happy Lobo brings you a new story every day. And today's story is about my friend and my little friend, cute friend Maisie. This is Maisie. Can you say that with me? Maisie. Maisie, yes. And Maisie, the little pig, stays in a big farm. Do you know which animals stay in a big farm, in farmhouses? Do you know which animals stay there? Yes, we have domestic animals that stay there. Domestic animals can be a dog, can be a cat, sheep, of course, Maisie, the pig, and many other animals. Chicken too, yes, chicken also. Today's story is about Maisie. And Maisie, as I told you, lived in a big farm. Maisie was a very happy pig. She was always bubbly. She was excited and happy. Happy, just like Happy Lobo. And she would talk to everyone in the farm. She would visit every person, every animal there, talk to them. In fact, they would have parties. And Maisie loved singing. Maisie would sing. Maisie would also dance. It's nice to see a cute little pig dance. And I like Maisie because she looks beautiful. Can you see her nice two beautiful eyes? They look like pebbles. And that pink wet nose. So cute. And that tail. I love the tail. It's the best. And can you see her feet? The hoofs that are there. And Maisie loved to jump and play in muddy puddles. She would jump in those dirty puddles and do splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy. Pigs like dirt. They like jumping into dirty places. And that's what Maisie loved to do. One day, I visited Maisie at the farm. I said, hi Maisie, how are you doing? And Maisie went, onk, 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 onk. I'm doing well, I'm doing well, I'm doing good. And we got chatting and chatting and chatting. After some time, I saw Maisie became silent. She just became silent. And I asked Maisie, what's wrong, Maisie? You, you, you are very silent. And you, I, I see that you're looking dull. And Maisie became very thoughtful. And Maisie told me, look, Happy Lobo, I want to tell you something which is in my mind. I said, yes, tell me. I'm your friend. You can tell that to me. And what Maisie told me was very interesting. Maisie told me about her dream. She had an ambition. And guess what was that? Maisie wanted to fly. <gasps> Maisie wants to fly? How can Maisie fly? Because Maisie is a pig. Do pigs fly? I'm sure you say pigs don't fly. Even I would say the same thing. Pigs don't fly because they are not birds. And here was my friend Maisie who wanted to fly. Maisie told me that it was her dream for many years. She's been dreaming about flying. Maisie said, I want to fly. I want to fly and go up in the sky. I want to look down and see how things look down below there. I'm sure they look different. I want the cool breeze to come and touch my face as I fly. And I really want to do this because that's my dream. I want to be a flying pig. That was a strange dream. That was a strange goal that Maisie had. So as a good friend, I told Maisie, Maisie, don't worry. Don't worry. You have this dream, go behind it. Chase it and try with all your energy. Try how you can fly. I'm sure there'll be some way out. So I encouraged Maisie and I went away. The next day, happy Maisie decided that she will try all the ways to fly. And so she came out of her house and started walking. And as you know, the happy Maisie always is singing and dancing. And this is a song that Maisie was singing. I'm sure you will like it too. And you can sing along with me. Let me tell you how the song goes. He says, one day you will see up above I will be flying flapping oink 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 that's Maisie's favorite song can we learn the song together I will say a few words and then you can repeat after me okay one day 
one day you will see you will see up above up above i will be i will be flying flapping oink 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 now that you've learned the song let's sing this song along with mezi mezi we're going to sing this song with you now ready one day you will see up above i will be flying flapping oink 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 and that was a happy song that mezi sang every time and she went to meet her friend her friend was a parrot yes a parrot which color is parrot is parrot orange is it black no parrots are generally green so she went to meet her friend the green parrot and the green parrot was sitting on a branch and mezi said hi green parrot this is mezi and i've come to see you and the parrot was very happy seeing happy mezi and she said yes 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 what do you want from me today how are you doing today and she started talking and talking and talking mezi said i i need your help my parrot my friend i want to fly and you should tell me how to fly the parrot got confused mezi you are not a bird you cannot fly i am a bird and i can fly but mezi said no you are my friend aren't you you will tell me how to fly parrot thought for a while and said to fly all you need is wings it's simple see i have wings ah mezi said yes that's what i wanted i need wings and so mezi said i got the idea so all i need is wings and so mezi happily walked back home singing the song one day you will see up above i will be flying flapping on 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 and she came home and started looking around what can i use to make wings i need two what is that mm, ah and she found two wooden pieces they were of the same size and she got them and said these are nice to make strong wings it will help me fly so quickly she put one on the left and she put one on the right and she was ready to fly and she walked out and climbed on a wall and she said this is the time for me to fly and she said 1 2 3 she fell down mezi fell down to the ground she could not fly this made mezi think why am i not able to fly because i have two wings just like the birds and i'm flapping them but i can't fly something is wrong and she started thinking hard what went wrong suddenly she got the realization that the wooden wings are too heavy yes heavy wings so obviously she cannot fly with heavy wings so she said no this is not going to work so she put the wings down and said there should be something that i need which will make me fly and there should be like the birds so she thought and thought and thought and yes she realized that birds have wings which are made of feather and feathers are light so mezi said yes i got the idea i need lots of feathers to make my beautiful soft and light wings but where can i get the feathers from i need to go and see my friend the chicken because chicken has feathers but then if i go to the chicken coop there'll be many of my friends my friends all the chickens and i'm sure they'll give me a lot of feathers and so the happy mezi walked again one day you will see up above i will be flying flapping oink 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 and she reached the chicken's place and there she went and spoke to her friend my friend chicken i need a help from you will you help me and the chicken said yes i will help you what is it that i can do for you my friend mezi said i need a lot of feathers 
Oh, feathers. We have a lot of feathers. In fact, my friends have a lot of feathers. There are so many feathers fallen down here. You can take all of them. But then, why do you need those feathers? And Maisie said, I want to make wings and I want to fly. You want to fly? Ah, forget it. It's too complicated for me. I've got a lot of other works. I've got to take care of my chicks too. So you take the feathers and do whatever you want. I'm going. Bye-bye. And the chicken went away. Maisie collected as many feathers as she wanted and she carried them home singing her happy song. Flying, flapping, oink, oink, oink. Once she reached home, she nicely put them together into two beautiful light wings and she tied them one on the left and one on the right and she went back on her wall and there she was ready. She was very excited because she had light wings just like the birds and now she, was, she will be able to fly. And so she, she looked around. She said, everybody who is watching me will see me fly. And she tried to flap those wings. And she said, one, two, woo, top. She fell down again. Yes. For the second time, Maisie could not fly. Maisie got very disappointed. Maisie didn't know what was going wrong. She had the right thing that she had. She had the feathers. She had them light. She had them tied. And she was trying to flap them. But nothing happened. <laughs> Poor Maisie. She put her head down. And with all her droopy shoulders, she started walking, walking. She said, how can I fly? I really want to fly. I really want to fly. I'm trying so hard. Then she said, oh, I need to talk to somebody who is wise and intelligent. Who is wise and intelligent? Is there anybody that you know who is wise and intelligent? Maybe a bird. Maybe a bird with big eyes. Yes, you got it right. That's the owl, the intelligent owl. And do you know how, how owls sit? They've got big eyes, right? So they open their eyes wide and they sit like this. That's how they sit. And do you also know that owls cannot see during the day? They are blind during the day. They can see only at night. That's a special talent that they have. They are nocturnal animals. They are nocturnal birds which can see only at night. Can you see at night? Mm, whenever there's a power, power shutdown or there's no electricity, we find it so difficult to, to see in the dark. But the owl can do it. And so Maisie decided to go and meet the wise owl. And there he was sitting on a tree during the daylight. Poor fellow cannot see. So he was just sitting there and taking rest. Maisie went and said, Hey owl, this is me, Maisie, the little pig in the farm. And the owl said, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, who is that? Is that Maisie? Oh yeah, Maisie. Yes, yes. What do you want, Maisie? I'm actually sleeping now. But you can talk to me. And Maisie said, uh, Owl, you are wise and intelligent. Can you give me an idea how I can fly? Uh, the owl got a little confused and he just woke up from his uh, sleepy self and he said, What? Do you want to do you want to fly? You are a pig and pigs cannot fly. Uh, so he said, No, no, I really want to fly. I want to fly and go up and enjoy the, the scene up there. And I really want to be like those birds and go up and go anywhere that I want in the sky. Uh, the owl got very confused. But then he saw that Maisie was so adamant that she wanted an idea. That the owl said, look Maisie, if you want to fly, you need magical powers. You really need magical powers. And uh, the only person that can give you magical powers is there is one person who is in the forest. And he can give you magical powers. When Maisie heard this, Maisie got very excited. And Maisie said, tell me more, tell me more. And the owl said, you have to meet the spirit of the woods. Yes, there is the spirit of the woods, which is far away in the woods, in the forest. And that spirit of the woods will give you that magical power to fly. Maisie was very excited. She had an idea. 
She said, okay, bye-bye, Aul. And she went home. She prepared for her long journey because the forest was far away. It was far away in the north and she had many days of walking. And so the excited Mizi decided to walk that distance because she wanted to meet the spirit of the woods and get that magical power and then fly. So she walked and walked and walked and sang her happy song. You can sing that with me. One day you will see up above I will be flying, flapping, oink, oink, oink. And she sang and sang and sang and walked and walked and walked for many days. And finally she reached the forest. Now in the forest, there are wild animals. Yes, wild animals. Can you name a few wild animals? Yeah, the wild animals. Those animals, the animals that stay in the forest are ferocious. They can even harm us. Imagine the lion. Think about the tiger or the strong elephant or the big python. Yes, now that's a dangerous place for a pig to be. But Maisie was determined to meet the spirit of the woods. And so she went into the forest and looked around. Nothing unusual, just trees and animals here and there. Now, what is this spirit of the woods? Is it some magical place? Is it some bright light? Is it a talking tree? I don't know. And she walked into the woods and she asked a couple of animals there. She said, where is the spirit of the woods? Where can I meet the spirit of the woods? And then everybody pointed in one direction. They said, go there, go there. So Maisie went to this place. And there it found, guess whom? It found a monkey, an old, uh, ugly monkey. Uh, Maisie said, this can't be the spirit of the woods because he's an old monkey. And she went close to the monkey and said, uh, excuse me, are you the spirit of the woods? And this monkey who was sitting there very poised opened his eyes and said, I am the spirit of the woods, yes. And who are you? Uh, Maisie said, yeah, if you are the spirit of the woods, then I heard that you have magical powers and you can grant wishes. Uh, yeah, what is it that you want? I said, ah, yes, I want to fly. I want to fly like the birds. And the spirit of the woods, that monkey said, you are not a bird. And why do you want to to fly? You have you. Sh I'm sure you have other talents which you can use. Don't think about flying. That's not meant for you. Maisie said, "No, no, no, monkey. I, I don't have any talents. I'm just an ordinary pig. I don't have any special talents." So the monkey said, "Look, all animals have a special talent." Look at the cheetah, it can run fast. Look at the eagle, it can fly high. I'm sure you have some talent. And uh, Maisie said, no, I'm nothing. I don't have any talents. I'm just a simple, small, pink pig. I don't have any talents. Hmm. But Maisie insisted, can you please grant me the wish? Can you, can you use your magical powers and make me fly? After a lot of talking and talking, the monkey gave up. He said, okay, I will grant you the wish, but I have a condition. Yes, I have a condition. And Maisie became very alert. What is the condition? She asked. And the monkey said, once you get the special power to fly, each time you fly, you will lose one of your talents. <laughs> when Maisie heard this, she giggled and said, <laughs> No, I don't have any talent, so what will I lose? Nothing. So don't worry about that condition. Just give me that magical power. And the monkey thought for himself and said, Okay, fine. Go home and at night you will have the magical, uh, magical talent and you will be able to fly. Make sure you fly at night. Because during the day, if you fly and if those humans see you, they will either shoot you down or they'll catch you and put you in a cage. So be careful. 
Maisie was extremely joyful. She was dancing and prancing and she was running around because her her dream was coming true. The magical power will make her fly. And so she walked back, walked back home and singing loudly and dancing and finally she reached home. She could not wait for the night to come because that was the time when Maisie would fly. And then when the night came, Maisie went out excited and closed her eyes and just waited for the magical power to come and give her wings to fly. She waited and waited but nothing happened. But after some time, she slowly realized that she is getting wings. Yes, two beautiful wings. And this is how Maisie looked with the wings. Nice two beautiful wings. And these wings will help Maisie to fly. She was so excited and she slowly decided to flap them. Can you flap your hands with me just like how Maisie did? Yeah, flap. Yes, this way. Flap, flap. A little faster, a little faster. And that's what Maisie did. And slowly Maisie took off and she started flying. Yes, Maisie was a flying pig and she could fly up. Slowly she went up higher and higher and higher. She went over the coconut tree. She went over the tower and there was Maisie in the air. She was flying. She was gliding. She could feel the fresh, that breeze on her body and she could look down. The world was looking different down there from up there and she saw everything was looking tiny. Yes, they were looking small. The trees were small. The houses were small and the animals in the farm, they were like small tiny ants. They were like tiny and Maisie was enjoying it as she was flying and flying. She had a very strange feeling in her body. It was like those tingling sensations that you get. And she said, what is this happening to my body? I'm feeling a little strange, uh, but it's okay. I, I like flying, so I'm, I can fly and fly and fly. And so Maisie flew the whole night and she was tired. She said, enough for today. And she slowly settled down in front of her house and put her wings back and said, ha, ah, this is a time for me to have a good, peaceful sleep. And then she realized something was wrong. So she looked behind and looked at her tail. You know how Maisie's tail is? Yeah, she had a twisted cute tail. But now the tail had become straight, like a stick. It becomes st straight. Can you imagine a pig with a tail which is straight like a stick standing upright? That looks funny, isn't it? So that is what happened to Maisie's tail. Ooh. Maisie recollected what the spirit of the woods had told her. She said, he said, whenever you fly, you will lose one of your talents, one of your special abilities. And here was Maisie with the tail that was straight. But that's okay. After all, it's just a tail. It's, it's fine. I'm okay to have a straight tail. And Maisie went and slept. She had a very peaceful sleep. Next day, she went around and told everybody about her special talent that she can fly. Nobody believed her. But then at night, she spread her wings again and was up in the sky again, doing all her tricks and all the stunts. She even came down sometimes and was flying low and scared some mice. Yes, what a naughty pig, Maisie. She scared some mice there. And as she was going again, she got the tingling feeling. Something was not fine. She thought, do birds feel the same when they fly? You know, some tingling feeling. And when she looked down, her feet. Yes, Maisie has feet like these, like those hoofs. They had changed and they had become flat. They had flat feet. Now that's quite strange. Hmm. She realized something else is changing in my body and that's my feet. But that's okay, as long as I'm able to fly. And so, Maisie went on enjoying her flight, enjoying her time up there. When she came down to the ground, 
she realized that it's difficult to walk with flat feet. Yes, it is very difficult. The next day, Maisie decided to go on a long flight. And then at night, she went and she was gliding in the sky. Uh, this time she had the tingling feeling all over again. And she realized something was wrong on her face. And very soon she realized that her nose became flat. So things were changing every time. Maisie was up in the sky. The next night when she was flying, her ears became like tall horns. Like how the antelope has tall horns, long ones. It became like that. And the next night when she was flying, her skin, it changed. She got, she, she, she got hair there. She got the fur. And so, Maisie got very disturbed. She said, every time I fly, something is happening to me. Things are changing exactly like how the spirit of the woods said. After a few days, Maisie realized that she had become an ugly animal. Can you imagine an animal which has fur, which has a flat nose, which has a long tail, a straight one, and which has flat feet, and which has tall, long ears, nothing like a pig. And Maisie found it difficult. She couldn't smell anymore to find her food. She couldn't jump in those muddy puddles because all the mud would stick to that hair there and it'd be sticky and smelly. And she found it really difficult to walk with those you know, flat feet. Life became very difficult for Maisie and she could not do all the happy things that she used to do. As days went by, Maisie was very troubled. In the farm, no one liked Maisie because Maisie had become ugly. Yes, Maisie was looking totally different, like an alien animal, like completely different. No one was talking to her. And this made Maisie very sad. And one day Maisie decided, that's it. I'm done with this flying thing. I want to be the Maisie again. I want to be happy. I really have to do something and she decided to go back to the spirit of the woods and tell the spirit of the woods, look, can you please put some magic on me and make me back, uh, convert me into my original self. That is Maisie. And so she walked with a lot of difficulty and finally after days of walking and walking and walking, she reached the forest. But there, the monkey was not there. The regular place that she went, the monkey was not there. And this got Maisie worried and she asked, where is the spirit of the woods? Where is that monkey? And everybody pointed at one direction with a lot of trees. And so Maisie quickly went there and found 20 monkeys there, all of them looking alike. Oh no, how do I identify which is the spirit of the woods? Because all of them are monkeys, all of them are looking alike. And she started looking at every monkey. Far away she found one monkey which was looking like the spirit of the woods. He was sitting far away, a little aloof. And then she went to him and said, Are you, you are the spirit of the woods, aren't you? And the spirit of the woods said, uh, Yes, I am. Who are you? What an ugly creature. Who are you? And Maisie said, I am Maisie, the Maisie, the little pig who came to you and you gave me this magical power to fly. What have you done to yourself? Look at you. You look ugly. Go stay away from me. And so Maisie said, okay, okay. I, I'm really sorry, but I want to be the Maisie again. Mm. The spirit of the woods realized that Maisie has been flying. And as the magic works, she lost some of her abilities. In fact, many of her abilities, the nice things that were in her. And there the spirit of the woods saw this very ugly creature and Maisie was crying there. She was weeping and said, I'm so sorry. I, I just want to be Maisie again. I don't want to fly. I don't want to fly. And she was weeping and weeping. And then she said, I realize that I have so many things in me, so many nice things. They are all gone now and have become ugly. So can you please, please, please make, uh, please make me the old Maisie and the spirit of the woods 
gave us gave a smile and said okay i hope you realize what has happened to you fine you go back home and you will be into the mezi again when mezi heard this she was very excited and she was happy and she became a little calm and she walked back home and she slept off the next morning when she woke up she was back again into the same old bubbly happy cute mezi and then mezi went all around the farm talking to everybody and being that very cheerful and happy dancing and singing mezi but she did not sing her song because she no longer wanted to fly she just wanted to be herself happy mezi and that brings us to the end of this story this is a lovely story and there are some interesting things that i learned from this story and i will share with you some of those interesting things today the first point that i learned is to be happy with yourself the second thing is that you have a lot of talents you have a lot of goodness in you there are a lot of things that you can do and you have to identify them and be happy with them oh uh, no you may ask me i am a simple boy and a simple girl i am nothing extraordinary i don't have any talents no i'll give you an idea go to your parents or anybody who stays with you and is close to you and ask them dada mama grandpa grandma uncle aunt just tell them can you tell me what my special talent is or what i am what am i good at and they will tell you what you're good at and that's your special talent everybody has something special in them yes the animals look at the cheetah how fast it can run or oh, look at the owl it can see at night same way all human beings everybody big and small has something special in fact we have many things which are special in us and we have to identify them and then that is a special thing that we should always nurture we should help it grow have you ever put a party together imagine putting a party together where you have to bake the cake you have to do the decorations you have to invite your friends you have to host the party you have to sing the song you have to do a magic show can you do all of this no so you call those people who have those special skills maybe one of your friends will say look i'll come and play the guitar for the party because i know how to play the guitar another friend will say i can bake a cake because i'm good at baking so when everybody brings their talent it will be a beautiful place so you can also bring your talent there so but talents does not mean different skills for example uh, talents don't mean just singing and dancing and building something talents can also be things like goodness being helpful being caring that's also a talent that's also a special attribute so if you're caring if you're loving if you're helpful that's a talent and if you have that talent that's a precious talent hold on to it and use it every day be happy be smiling be helpful be caring that's a talent so today mezi has taught us to realize what our talents are and to use them so thank you mezi for this small lesson and this brings us to the end of the story have you listened to my previous stories if not don't worry i have a facebook page and a youtube channel just search for happy lobo and you will find my stories there don't forget to hit that button the subscribe button so that you can get to know of my stories and now that you enjoyed a lovely story drop in your comments tell me what you learned from it tell me how you like the story and i'll be very happy reading those comments so this is a time for me to say goodbye and the message is to be happy like happy lobo so bye bye take care and keep smiling